Hi guys, hello, welcome to another video. My name is Jeffrey. This is the Inquisitive Universe. Let's go. Today we're going to be talking about the Snapdragon 6S 4G Gen 1, better known as the Snapdragon 6S Gen 1 for short. Now, a few weeks back, I got wind of this SOC through one of you guys, thankfully, who alerted me to the existence of this SOC and said, hey, Jeff, there's a new SOC that you've got to check out. And I went to check it out. And then he also um, linked me to a Telegram page, an Indian Telegram page, really, where this SOC was heavily dissected. And I was like, oh, guys, slow down. Right. I wasn't really going to jump on the bad wagon. I wanted to do my own research first before I made any conclusions and do my own research. I did on the Snapdragon 6S Gen 1. And, and what I found is actually it's it's customer sabotage of the highest order. It's why I keep telling you people you should never be swayed ever by marketing a lot of the time. I always say this. I think Chimi Miriam would, um, if he's watching this, I'm sure that he will confirm that you never let marketing move you because it's the job of marketers to market. They will market poo if they have to. That's an aside, but let's continue with this video. Now, when you hear the name Snapdragon 6S Gen, Snapdragon has a naming scheme. I think I should even do a video on that one when I have the time. Right when I'm not ranting, <laughs> all right, because you've got the Snapdragon 4 Gen, you've got the Snapdragon 6 Gen, you've got the Snapdragon 7 Gen, and then you've got the Snapdragon 8 Gen. The 8 Gen is obviously the highest, the flagship. The 7 Gen is the upper mid rangers, the premium mid rangers, and possible flagship killers if there are any. Then the 6 Gen is for the mid range, usually the lower mid range segment. Then the 4 Gen is for the budget section. So most times when people hear the term 6th gen, when people hear the term 6th gen, usually they are looking for something in the lower mid-range category. That's usually what they're expecting when you hear the term lower mid-range, you know, 6th gen, lower mid-range. Now, the, six, the Snapdragon 6th gen 1 is actually, you know, it has been benchmarked at around 550k on Antutu. Now, there is also the saga on the Snapdragon 6S Gen 3 that we've mostly ignored because, I mean, when you benchmark the 6S Gen 3, it will give you around 500k on Antutu. So basically, there's that. Let's just put that. When you hear 500k on Antutu, you know that you're getting really solid performance. Anything above 400k, you are getting a decent level of performance. So when you get, so when you see, or rather when you hear the Snapdragon 6 Gen, you know that you're getting around 500K on Antutu in terms of performance. That's good enough to run your eFootballs. That's good enough to run most games out there. It, I think to an extent, depending on the GPU that's on the smartphone, you can even play some really, really high AAA titles on low settings. Right, but your run of the mill titles like eFootball, Call of Duty, PUBG, Free Fire, and what have you, it's going to run them well, very fine. So, when most people hear 6 gen, that's mostly what they're expecting. Not in this case. Now, if you go through this, this spec sheet, the document brief, like I have that Qualcomm released, Qualcomm ended up saying nothing. There is really, there's literally nothing. On that, you know, you know this world, this this corporate world. You know, in the corporate world. There's what we call corporate speak, where people end up saying a lot, but end up saying nothing. That's mostly what you get here. Thankfully, somebody got their hands on the Oppo A3X, and I'm going to get to Oppo later. Somebody got their hands on the Oppo A3X and benchmarked this processor, and then found out that. <laughs> it's nothing other than the good old Snapdragon 662, a photography centered or a photocentric SOC that was released in 2020, January 2020, and went on to make its debut on the Redmi 90, which was abandoned after a while. It also made its way onto the Poco M3. Both phones were plagued with dead boot issues. I don't really want to go into that. So let's get into the specs. Now, as I'm putting the specs down, I'm going to be putting the specs of the Snapdragon 662 side by side with this one so that you'd see, right? So the Snapdragon 6X, 6S Gen 1 has four Cortex A73 CPU cores clocked at 2.1 gigahertz, four Cortex A55 CPU cores clocked at 2.0 gigahertz. Of course, 
The architecture is last gen, ARM V8. It's built on an 11 nanometer process from Samsung. The GPU is the Adreno 610. The um, artificial intelligence on this one is the Hexagon 683. It supports RAM, LPD Dario 4 X RAM of up to 2,133 megahertz. Storage is, of course, good old UFX 2.1. It supports displays of up to 1080p at 60 hertz um, camera support is 48 megapixels video support is 1080p at 30 fps the modem here is the snapdragon x11 modem it supports 4g wi-fi 6 bluetooth 5.1 and then as benchmarked by the guy who did this one um, i'm going to be leaving his name and you you can see his this his channel name on the screen i also leave a link in the description so you can check out his his work the he benchmarked this soc at two hundred and forty eight thousand. now check this out and then check out the snapdragon 662 and tell me if you can spot the differences beyond of course the slightly in increased clock speed Guys, guys, there is zero outrage from any big content creator. None, nothing. All of them are waiting for their next brand endorsement. Nobody is going to call Oppo out and nobody is definitely going to call Qualcomm out. Because why? Why would they? Why would they bite the hands that feed them? This is the Snapdragon 6S Gen 1. So please take note. If you go out into the market, you're going to buy this one. Make sure that you know what you are buying. You are buying an old Snapdragon 662 from 2020. That is what you are buying. Nothing more, nothing less. It is sad that Qualcomm would, 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 uh, uh it's, it's, why am I even surprised? It's not the first time. It won't be the last really. Right, with companies like this who just want to defraud their customers. It's why I tell people, no, bro, not, not they fight for brands. Do not fight for brands because the brand will eat you up through you and spit you out as when necessary. Now, most people who don't know what we are talking about will see the 6S gen name and be expecting a performance of somewhere around here the 6 gen 1 performance or at the very least somewhere around here the 6s gen 3 performance but unfortunately that's not the truth the 6s gen 1 is going to give you the performance of a snapdragon 662 all the way down here unfortunately so yeah this is the big scam that i believe it's important for all of us to know my name is jeffrey thank you very much for coming and i will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.